Warmer weather is here, which means there's also an increased risk with fires. With everyone social distancing in the outdoors, there are a few things you need to be aware of to prevent igniting any kind of spark. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Sydney Thorson talks with local fire departments as well as a wildland fire expert to explain. Whether you're in the city or way out in the Black Hills, we're surrounded by green grass and trees everywhere, which makes it very easy to get out and properly social distance, but dangerous when it comes to accidentally igniting a fire. You know, folks that are kind of been dealing with cabin fever and are ready to go out and enjoy the sunshine. And uh, so we'll see a, you know, a increase in forest visitors from trails to uh, recreating, um, bike riding, fishing, you name it. Jason Virtue with Black Hills National Forest says last year, people caused 9 out of 10 wildland fires. In some cases, something as simple as parking on dry grass was to blame. When things start to dry out, you, know, you can see tall grass as it starts to dry out. The exhaust systems can also catch the grass on fire. So using caution where people park, May is Wildfire Awareness Month, and as we head outdoors, we can prevent any spark from igniting. One way to do that is with proper vehicle maintenance. You should also be careful where you smoke, and if you start a fire, you need to make sure it is completely out before you walk away. But in general, when, when folks are recreating, we just ask that they use all caution, and if they do see smoke or something doesn't look right, that they call it in and uh, make sure that whether it's the local dispatch center or our Great Plains dispatch. While local volunteer fire departments are prepared for fire season to start up, they urge people to be very cautious, especially this year. So COVID-19 poses a little bit of a challenge for us when the pager goes off. Um, ultimately, we're prepared, we're ready, and we will roll regardless of what the situation might be. Um, we're going to try and social distance as best we can, but we also realize that, look, the patient is, is our number one priority and we need to take care of that patient. When a fire department gets called to help put out a wildfire, multiple agencies join in on the effort. This is putting many different first responders in contact with each other and at risk for catching the virus. If, if there's no fires, that prevents us from having to put multiple people in a truck and having them in close proximity. Uh, less responses for any responders around the area is, is a good thing at this point because then we're just not exposing each other to anything we don't need to. Yeah. Right now, the fire danger level is moderate to low. However, as the summer months continue, that will likely change. We're talking about 80 degree temperatures next week already. And so, again, these flashy fuels, our grasses, our, our pine duff layers, those are our flashy fuels. Those take an hour to dry out, and then literally we have fire danger again. Um, people out and enjoying the Black Hills, again, we're always going to just ask them to be mindful of, of the fire danger and their, what their um, ignition sources might be. As we all get out and enjoy the fresh air and nice outdoors, it's important to remember that even the smallest flame could ignite an enormous wildfire. With Eye on Kello Land, I'm Sydney Thorson. Stay updated on the changing fire danger levels. You can head to kelloland.com for links we've provided.